You know the AFC. But what about the AFL? Used to be a whole other league. And you'll never believe how that got started. It's 1959. The NFL is a successful 12-team league. But not quite the sports giant it become. Enter Lamar Hunt. 26 years old, oil rich, passionate about the game. Lamar wants to put an expansion team near his home in Dallas, so he meets Commissioner Burt Bell to make his pitch. But Burt says no. Lamar? He's no quitter. He flies to Florida to see the owners of the Chicago Cardinals about buying their team and moving them to Dallas. No deal again. But they tell him something that sparks his interest. Seems they've also received bids from other buyers in Texas, Minneapolis, and Denver. And they want to move the Cardinals to their home cities, too. So on the flight home from Miami, Lamar Hunt gets to thinking, and a light bulb goes off. May I have something right on, please? What if he joins up with those other rejected bidders? Together, they can start a new league, a league with teams in their home cities, and one in Dallas, too. It'd be a heck of a gamble, but in his heart, Lamar believes in one thing, the power of football. Lamar's Texas team eventually became the Kansas City Chiefs, and the new league became the AFL. It was born right here on an airplane. The Jets, the Raiders, the Patriots, they all exist because of this guy. Lamar Hunt changed football forever. The rest is history. Thank you.